Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I want to go over my Soto Cash Cup and just giving you some very simple but beneficial tips on how to make qualifying easier for yourself. Because there are a few things you can do that will just make the entire process 10 times easier. This is going to be a Road to Pro episode as well, but today is a perfect opportunity for me to just share some thoughts on qualifying because this was the fourth Soto Cash Cup of the season and also the fourth one I qualified. The way I'll be doing this is I'll show you one game, then as soon as the game is done, I'll catch up with you on why I play the way I do and also the pros and cons of playing like I do. So let's have a look at how this Soto Kashi started off. Okay, kill them both. Yeah, the victory car. Soto Kashi's art were the best things to watch back in the day. I just can't lie. Oh, not really. It's annoying me. There's some free money thing going around it's CPU cooler what? problem, it actually does. Yeah. And I swear it was overheating. Like I swear half the time I play the game, like I'll go on my temps and it's like, oh it's not overheating, but it smells like it's on fire. Like I can literally <laughs> smell it and I'll touch my case. It's, yeah, boiling. Give me a second arm in that game. No, I suck. No, what happened? Just, uh, I thought a guy was low and I just 50 50 him with SMG and apparently it wasn't, it was full HP. GD. The first thing you need to know about qualifying for solo cash cups is that time is incredibly valuable. Whatever tournament you're playing, you need to think, how can I have an advantage over everyone else? And one of the easiest ways to do so is not wasting time. Even just five minutes can be the difference between qualifying and not. What a lot of people do when they play the solo cash cup is that they W key the first game knowing that it's probably gonna end up badly because it's gone badly in the past. But they wanna test the voiders, see if they can get lucky and drop a 20 kill win like they did once 38 tournaments ago. My tip to all of you watching is that if something isn't working and hasn't for multiple tournaments, then switch it up. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is quite literally the definition of insanity. So slow down, hop into game one and be honest with yourself. What's the chance I perform better if I W key this game compared to if I just play end game? Well, after I had an okay game one, let's have a look at how my second game went.
I'm mid, I'm mid end game. <laughs> what the f? You got this. Thank you. Hype it up. I just kill a guy. Like and subscribe. Pretty good. I just took 10 million storm ticks because of that cringe. <laughs> nice. And I also lost my splash this summer. Yeah, they're just 10 and a half million miles in storm. Third place. I've never played that much like a flopper, but I didn't have any heals, so we'll take it. We'll take it. After doing it pretty well and being close to qualifying like I was in this cash cup, it is super easy to get a few games where you end up getting eliminated early. And that is exactly what happened to me. And I also know this is something a lot of you guys watching are struggling with. You find yourself within the top 50 in the middle of a tournament, but end up completely choking. So what is the reason for us choking? And how can we fix it? The main reason people choke including me, it's because we switch up our game plan when we are higher up on the leaderboard. The reason for this game plan change is mostly because we overestimate the opponents in our lobby after we've had a good game or two. And that is exactly what I did today as well. So if you want to stop choking after doing well, stick to your game plan, take the risks you normally take, because as we all know, not taking risks is the biggest risk there is. Now, let's have a look at my fifth game in opens.
My final and undeniably best tip for solo cash the opens and qualifying is queuing into your final game when there's 17 to 24 minutes remaining of the tournament and playing the so-called W key game out. The reason this is so insanely good is because all the points in the solo CC is basically in the top 10 and when there's 17 to 24 minutes remaining of the tournament, most people W key and make the lobby unstacked because they want to leave and get a last queue. So even if you are say top 12 and there's 5 minutes remaining and you can leave and get another game, it's still not worth it. By playing your last queues when there's 17 to 24 minutes remaining, even if you have 4 games remaining, you'll have the success rate of qualifying by a ton. In the past, I've been someone who tried going into last minute queues, but those games are World Cup type hard in comparison to these W key games, which essentially feel like arena. So next solo CC, if you are struggling to qualify, make sure to queue your last game or at least call it your last game at around 17 to 24 minutes remaining and play it out. Now, to emphasize what I just said, have a look at how dead this game is. And for reference, I needed 68 points to qualify. Bro, why can I not build? Now that you got some tips that has helped me a lot when it comes to making qualling easier, let's have a look at how the finals went. absolutely brutal week of solos but i am happy that i kept the qualifying streak alive this was the fourth of eight solo cashies this season so hopefully i'll be able to earn in one of the last four let me know how you did in the comments below and i'll talk to you all very very soon